Um, so I haven't done a video in absolutely ages. I said I was gonna keep it up, but I haven't. And I'm thinking about turning this into an equestrian um, sort of area for videos because I'm seriously into horses. <laughs> um, my lighting might go really bad because the light keeps on going in and it turns me orange for some reason. So I don't know why. But I'm don't want this video to turn into a rant or anything but it probably will because um the other day i got told that riding horses isn't a sport you can ride horses for casual pleasure for gaming uh for pony club pleasures um you can have it because it's been passed down you can have it for the money but for me and most people I know that own a horse or ride a horse or loan or share or whatever or even work with them or just go every weekend that's they put commitment to that and I'm not saying that any other sport players don't put commitment to that because they do I'm on about how they turn around to people who do a question and they work with horses or whatever they say that it's not a sport and that why would you do it i want to know this can probably turn into a rant i want to know why you can all say not everyone but the people who do say this i want to know why they can say that if we ride a horse it's easy have you ever trusted an animal that's five times your weight, probably even more depending on the breed, um, that has four feet that can trample you to death? It's a mind of its own and if it fell on you, it could kill you. It's unpredictable, you don't know what can happen and it's what you call making a bond with our horse. You ride it so much, you muck it out, you do whatever with it because you want that bond to come together because if not, then it can really end up disastrous. And to the people that say they don't wear helmets, that's your choice. But I saw this one video of a girl saying that the helmet when she fell off made it put more impact on her skull well yes it might have but in any other circumstance i've known helmets to save people's lives to that can keep you safe body protectors i don't wear one because i don't do extreme sport i do show jumping um or things like that and i also I just do flat work, flat work, show jumping, that's my area, I like the thrill, I like the fact that it's only you and the horse, and I do, I don't ride every single day, if I had the chance to ride every single day, no one would ever see me, because I'd be down there, I ride every single weekend, and unfortunately I've been ill for two, two about I've been ill from last week and I'm still ill now so I cannot ride this weekend. So that is two weeks I've missed out of riding. That kills me, the fact that I cannot go and ride because riding is my passion. And to the people say that, why do we ride? We ride because it's something that we believe in. It's something that makes us happy. It's something that we love. The same for you, you kick a ball about. We could say that, you just kick a ball about, you tackle people, that's it. We, you have teammates that you are put with and you have no say in if you want to be with them or not. You could leave the team, you can get them fouls, you can do anything. But with a horse, you are put, you are put with a horse and you are the one that helps like make your bond with that horse what it is you don't 
turn around and go, oh, I don't want it. You put up with it. You, like, stick with its mistakes. You correct its mistakes. You help it through the times that it's lame or whatever. You help it through. You don't just sit there going, oh, well, it's a horse. You don't, you don't do that. Um, it just annoys me, the fact that why do something if you can't keep up with it? I had a time where I started to fade away from horse riding, but then I pulled myself back up because I knew that's the thing that I loved. I started to do dancing, and I love to dance, yes, but I'm not going to push away something that I love and something that I've wanted to do ever since I was a little girl, to do something that I've only, about a couple of years, wanted to do. I'm 15, 16 this year. I've been riding since I was 10, and I've come a long way. I know people that have rode since they were, like, little, little, and they have got so far, and... I watch people's YouTube videos and I think I want to be like them because they get the horses to follow them round. That's what you need. You need a bond. I want that. I don't have the opportunities yet to get there. I've, at my riding stables that I'm at, that has pushed me so far. The instructors in my group lesson, they push me forward so much and... I've loaned horses, I've worked with them, I've worked with foals, I've worked with old horses, I've worked with yearlings, and I know the difficulties of each of the stages that it grows up. It's not easy, you don't sit there and get up or you sit on it, you don't just sit on it, you have to, you have your back positions, you have your body positions. You have everything. You don't just sit on it and then... It's like with trot. You have the certain lead rein. You have the correct way. You have diagonals. You have everything. With football, you have less. Well, that's from what I know. And I'm not just basing it on football and horse riding. You have loads more. And I just want to be... I'm just putting this out there to the people that think that horse riding is easy because it's no way. You go and sit on a horse and you go see how it is. If this this video has turned out to be a round one, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know how you can turn around and say that without you having the experience. The thing is, horse riding can kill you and that's... We trust the horse... Even if it will be naughty, we trust that horse. And it's not like you would sit there and all of a sudden trust your teammates on a rugby match or anything, would you? You would have to get to know them. You don't let them get away with everything. You have to correct them. And it's not right for people to say that. And... Yeah, you just can't say that without you having the experience or having that chance to say that. But, yeah. <laughs> this video has turned out to be, like, really long. So, I'm really sorry. I've been recording on my phone because I'm waiting to get a camera. So, I will put up more videos. Um, of, yeah, that. <laughs> um, well, leave comments below if you think that I should do more of these videos, not these exact ones, because this one was sort of a ramp one, and I, I'm sorry, it's really long as well. Um, if you should do more question videos and everything like that, like do videos on the breeds, do videos on whatever, um, because I enjoy making YouTube videos and hopefully I could get to know a couple of people from around YouTube and maybe make friends from YouTube because that would be really nice to have people that have the same interests as me. Um, so yeah, 
um, if you liked it then give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below if you think of what improvements I can do, what I should do and if I should carry on. Um, hope you liked it, thanks, bye!